and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, I hope you'll click that subscribe button. Today I'm going to share with you how a professional hairstylist does a blowout. That would be Miss Lori. She's going to show us how you can get that Victoria's Secret smooth, silky, voluminous hair for yourself at home. If you want to see how I got this look, keep watching. And I hope you give it a thumbs up, so click like. So my hair's all washed and Miss Lori's going to start the blowout now. A few products we'll use, Paul Mitchell Super Soul Flexible Style Hair Gloss. It conditions and seals and moisture while styling. It makes hair shiny and helps hold the style. We'll also use TG Catwalk Blowout Balm. It protects your hair during the blowout, gives you mega shine, and has the most yummy smell on earth. We're going to be using two Technique brushes during the blowout. The first one will be the Techniques 390 Wave. It has a nice concave shape. This helps hold the hair on the brush during the blowout and also gives you a really nice, smooth, soft bounce. The second brush is the Techniques 400. It's large in size, so you can get a lot of hair on it and dry it quickly. It's good to use where you don't have a lot of layers in your hair as well. Lori is applying the Paul Mitchell Super Sculpt to my hair. She's using about the size of a 50 cent piece in her palm. She starts at the end of my hair and then she works her way up. She'll then apply a second amount of it. She'll put another 50 cent piece amount in her palm and she finishes applying that to my hair. The hair is long and thick, so if your hair is either shorter or maybe thinner, you may want to use a little less product. Lori brushes the hair to distribute the product throughout the hair, and then she uses the TG Catwalk. She'll take a couple squirts, she'll work that through my hair. Then she'll take another couple squirts, and she'll work that through my hair again. Then she sections my hair off and she starts at the bottom part of my head, blow drying. She will take sections at a time. She will be using the Technique 400 brush. That's the bigger brush so that she can get more hair dry quicker. And you'll notice that she takes her time with it. She pulls the hair taut. This is to make sure that she gets the smooth, sleek look. And she's using the round brush, so of course that helps give a little bounce to it as well. We're going to fast forward through some of this. She's still using the big 400 brush. But notice she will continue to section hair. Take notice right here. She is lifting the hair up, brushing the hair up as she blows it dry. And the reason for this is to create the volume. So wherever you want volume, brush the hair up and blow it dry. We're gonna fast forward through some of this. Hang in there, there'll be more information. I'm trying to get you fast forwarded through some of this stuff so that you can pick up on other things. She's still using the big 400 brush. Here's another trick to blow dry. She wraps it around the brush to get that curl. She hits it with the hot air and then she hits it with cold air after that to lock it in place. And that's what helps give that little bounce at the end. So it makes the entire hair shiny and gives you the bounce. You're gonna notice that she's um, going over the entire hair shaft again, but this time she's doing it with cold air. This helps close the hair cuticle and makes the hair smooth and shiny. Notice in the crown section, Lori is trying to create some volume there. So she is brushing the hair up as she did previously when she wanted to create that volume. Now you'll see she's really trying to create a lot of volume at the top of my hair. So I slowed it down for you a little bit so you can kind of take notice here. She's still using the big 400 brush. That is right here. She is lifting the hair up brushing the hair up as she blows it dry. She 
to create the volume. So wherever you want volume, brush the hair up and blow it dry. You'll notice that Lori does not completely wrap the hair around the brush most of the time. I strongly recommend this. If you're always rolling the hair around the brush while you're blow drying, it's gonna get tangled and you're gonna be very frustrated. So do it strategically. You'll notice that she takes the brush, the round brush, she puts it up near the hair shaft, and then she pulls the brush away from the head. She keep, delivers the heat of the airflow around the brush so that she's shaping the cuticle the way she wants. When she gets to the end of the hair, she may roll some of that around the brush. Now, when the hair is almost completely dry, she does her last step, and that is to take the hair wrap it around the brush completely, hit it with the hot air one last time, and then she hits it with the cold air to lock it in place, to lock that cuticle in place, and then it also makes the hair shiny. And then that kind of helps create the bounce with the hair as well as shininess. Now that the hair is almost completely dry, Lori is ready to start the detail work. So she switches to the Technique 390 Wave Brush. She gets the hair wrapped around the brush. She hits it with the hot air, and then she hits it with the cold air to walk in that last little curl and to get that little flip. Lori continues to do this detail work around the head, wrapping the hair around the Techniques 390 Wave Brush, hitting it with the hot air and then hitting it with the cold air. And you'll see she carefully places it to try and hold that little flip. All done. That's it for today. Thanks for joining. I hope you give us a thumbs up. Check out all my social media at Janet's Hub and put your comments below. Let me know what you want to hear about.